Okay, so this is going to be my castle tutorial. I'm going to go over both the beginner route and the advanced route, and then both methods of doing the advanced strat. So the first thing I'll go over is how to get out of this door efficiently. As soon as you land, and while holding both your hands in the air while holding forward right strafe, you want to line up your right arm with the left side of this window here. And right when your guy starts moving, you want to tap space and start holding forward left to grab the rock. And then just turn around, strafe up towards the door, and smack the lock. As long as you hit the lock with a tiny bit of force, it should break every time. Sometimes it just doesn't break, but that's just human fall flat physics for you. You want to try to grab the latch right here. If you grab the latch on this part of it and look down, it should stay in the door and let you open the door just by pulling on the latch. This clip has a clean latch grab that opens the door. Once you're through, this is where the routes can differentiate. So when you're first starting out, I recommend going up the stairs and just jumping across here and just getting out these doors and going to the wall and starting to climb along because it's really consistent and it's a good way to get some runs under your belt before you start going for the strafe jump. There's not much to swing climbing along the wall. Just alternate your hands back and forth and alternate which left or right direction you want just in relative to your body's momentum. Now's a good time for me to explain the two kinds of surfaces you can walk or jump on in this game. The first kind is the normal kind of surface that you find all over the game where you can walk and jump on normally without any problems. The second kind of surface is much less common and it has strange properties where it will let you jump off it but only temporarily. Usually it'll let you jump twice but sometimes it'll only let you jump once. One jump most of the time is enough but just hold space in case your guy needs to jump a second time. And if you start sliding down make sure to grab onto the slope so you don't get stuck in the bottom. As you see here, I do two jumps just to show that you get the two jumps. And now I'm still holding space and my guy stopped jumping. I'm grabbing it to slow the slide down, but I'm showing you what happens if you get stuck here. It's like extended climbing, but just sideways. And just keep doing that till you get inside the cave and you should be good to go. So that's pretty much everything there is to be said about the easy strat on this map. So I'm going to start going over the two different difficult strats that involve the strafe jump. The first of which involves going through these bars. The idea is you want to try to wedge your arm between the bar and the wall and use it to pry the bar open. The best way to do this I've found is to grab the bar around the same height as the middle of your head and as soon as you hear the grab sound let go and re-grab and that way your arm should drop and it should land in a perfect position to open the bar and it should just bend wide open. Once again, it could just not work and you'll just keep re-grabbing until it works. Now we're going to start setting up for the strafe jump to the exit cave. When you approach the stairs, make sure to be to the left of this line so you hit the checkpoint in case you fail. That way the run isn't completely dead if you fall. You can still try again or go for the safe strat when you respawn if you just want to finish your run. Once you're on the stairs, you want to start holding forward without anything else. And once you reach the third step from the top, you want to start holding space. As soon as your guy starts falling from his jump, you want to start holding left. And after his second jump, as soon as he starts dropping, you want to start curving to the left. And after doing two jumps, you want to line yourself up with this part of the windmill. And then you want to stop curving to the left, but keep holding forward and left. And right before you land, you want to start holding right straight. And right after you land, you want to start curving to your right. After the last jump, you'll know you had a good launch if the gap between the edge of the cliff and your guy is about the same width as your guy's torso. At this point, all you have to do is aim your hand to grab the side of the wall, which you could argue is the hardest part. After you do one fling off your hand, just let go and re-grab the wall. And if everything was done correctly, you should be right next to the cave. At this point, you could just use your momentum, or you could swing climb just to get into the cave. Either or, this is going to save you time over swing climbing the entire wall. I still have to emphasize that you really shouldn't go for this jump until you're trying to optimize your personal best. I didn't start going for this strat until my PB was 6 minutes. It's such a huge time loss and it's so far into the run that it really isn't worth going for until you need to go for sub 6 minutes time. With all that said, the very first time you nail this jump during a run is pretty satisfying to say the least. 
Now before I go over the second way of doing the strafe jump from the door opposed to coming up the stairs, I need to make it clear that if you think it's hard doing it from the stairs, doing it from the door is even harder because you have a much smaller run up. So you have to build up more speed in a short amount of time, which means if you mistime your strafe or curve changes, it's not going to work. And to top it all off, it's only four seconds faster getting a perfect strafe from the door opposed to a perfect strafe from the stairs. And doing it from the stairs is way easier, way more consistent. And that's all relative because it's still hard, but the door is even harder and it's just pain. So my setup starts from this side of the door. Once you get across this gap, you want to get close to the corner between the door and the wall and turn your camera at roughly the same angle that I have. I kind of aim for the front left corner of the platform in front of me. And then as soon as you're past the door, you want to start jumping. When your guy starts dropping back down is when you want to start holding left. And as soon as your guy lands, you want to start curving to the left. You want to try to line yourself up with this part of the windmill. And right before you land, you want to switch to right strafe and start curving to the right. And then you should get one more jump and now it's the same deal as before where you want to line up the side of the cliff roughly the same amount of distance as the width of your torso and that's how I know roughly that this jump has potential to work. From this point it's pretty much the same as the easier strafe jump where now it's about aiming your hand and doing the fling over to the cave. There's a good chance you won't have as much speed as you're used to if you've been doing the easier strat. But once you get the first and second grab on the wall, it's pretty much the same as before. You just jump into the cave and you're golden. So that's pretty much everything there is to be said about Castle and these two strafe jumps. Don't expect to get these strafe jumps working on your first try, because even when you know how to do it, it's still hard as crap. My runs still die here all the time. And if you want to start going for the strafe jump, I do recommend going through the bars and doing that method. Because it's much easier to practice that method too, because the checkpoint is right at the stairs. Also considering that going through the door saves at a maximum 4 seconds if you do it perfectly, compared to a perfect strafe jump from the stairs. When you're trying to practice through the door, you pretty much have to do a full level run every time. And it's just easier to do it from the stairs to get it consistently. At least it was for me. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped. If you have any comments or requests for more tutorials, let me know in the comments below. I'm just going to let the, this last attempt play out. And yeah, thanks for watching. Good luck with your speedruns.